scrappy peeps it's Dolph Frankie Quill and time for a craft room tour I haven't done one of these for quite a while over here on YouTube uh, and we just found out that we are moving so this craft room will be no more probably by in a couple of days time so I thought I should film a craft room tour before I pack everything up and move it along to the next house it's probably 80% done I changed if you're one of my patreon peeps you would have seen um, the process of the move from the last craft room to here because I had a baby uh, if you're a new watcher I forgot that word then baby brain's still strong uh, I had a baby and we had to shuffle all of the rooms around to make room for the nursery so I'm back in my original room that I was in when we moved here and I was probably about 80% set up and my goal was to finish setting it up this month but alas we've got to move ah <sighs> so the joys of that um, so I'll give you a quick, quick tour if you are interested in a more in-depth look of how I set up this room and the decision making as to where everything was going I do have a video um, on Patreon about that and I will have a new video on Patreon soon setting up the next craft room and then I will do a craft room tour of my next room later in the year so let's get into the tour all right I'm going to do my best to not make you sick with camera movements um, but this is a bit of an overview of my room I have lots of calyx units on the right hand side from ikea and then i have a corner desk uh, in the corner of the room funny about that and then lots of rust cogs and alex drawers and bits and pieces along the way i'm really spoilt here to have such a big room uh, the house that we're currently in has very large bedrooms so the house we're moving to does not so i'm going to have to do a bit of a cull and a reorganize um, but on this wall I have two 4x4 calyx units and I'll do my best to tell you where I got certain containers and furniture from a lot of it is IKEA based and then on top of the left one I have a 2x4 unit as well so this holds a lot of my art journaling supplies and kind of what I would call my bigger less used scrapbooking and art supplies so I'll give you a bit of a closer peek. So when I set up these two cube shelves, I kind of made this one my art journaling stuff. Uh, if you're a new watcher, subscriber, I have a second channel called Let's Get Inky, which is all art journaling, traveler's notebooks, um, jelly plates, plannery bits and pieces, all sorts of that kind of thing. Uh, so that's kind of my journaling side. And then this is more my scrapbooky side. So we'll have a look at the scrapbooky stuff first. I have a feeling these shelves are actually the Expedits, which is the old IKEA uh, cube shelving, but it's the same kind of thing. So in this first one I have, this container is from uh, Muji and it's a really good size because it perfectly fits 12 by 12. So this one has my white cardstock and then watercolour paper pads. And then I usually have a second one here, which has all of my pattern paper paper pads that's a bit of a mouthful uh, but it's currently on my coffee table because I was doing some couch scrapping and then I also just keep so that should be in that other container um, I also just keep my large 12 by 12 chipboard in here because it's a bit hard to store and then this is a shelf from Ikea I think it's called the Cavizzle or the Cavittle kv something or other um, if i can find the name i'll pop it here but i just sort my pattern papers into a few different sections it's made for uh, a by a4 papers so i just take the shelves out and put them on top and kind of don't push them in all the way and it fits my 12 by 12s perfectly down the bottom i have black white and wood grain and brown then i've got pinks reds coral colors turquoise and blue are next and then text which this is not text that's so not supposed to be there but alas it is and then my least used colors which are uh, yellow orange green and brown and then up the top I just shove specialty papers this is not supposed to be here that's an empty spot there's a few random bits and pieces in our room at the moment because of the move uh, this is our very dusty NAS which is I don't know my husband's in tech it stores the hard drive things it, it, it keeps all of the photos and documents safe I don't know what it does but it's there um, down here I have this is actually an album that I started 
for um, Archie's first baby album and I have printed most of his first year and I have them all in there ready to go just squeeze it back in uh, so that's baby album stuff and then down here I have um, all of the things that I want to use in baby albums and I, I will be making a class on um, those hopefully later this year then back up here I have my thickers stored in 6x12 page protectors so that I can see what I've got and I just find it, it's a lot easier to slip them back in rather than dealing with the packaging with the little flap that's adhesive and then it loses its adhesive and I have them in these wire baskets most of them I picked up I think at Kmart for maybe 10 bucks or so and it was a while ago so I'm not sure if they're still there I may have also got one at the reject shop so if you're an Aussie peep um, keep your eyes peeled Kmart has some great containers uh, if you're looking to reorganize some of bits in your craft space but I have my thickers stored in colors and then I think these are just all black and white from memory yes they are and I have a lot of thickers I need to go through them <laughs> and then these ones are gold and if I have more than one pack which I usually do I just put them in the same page protector so that way I know that if I'm running out of A's I can just keep flicking through uh, to find the next one so these 6x12 page protectors I think they were made by Project Life uh, so I'm not sure if you can get them anymore but you could do a, a similar thing just with normal page protectors they just wouldn't fit quite right and I'm pretty sure American Crafts actually brought out some that were specifically called Thicker's Storage so that's those then down here I hope I'm not making you too jiggly and dizzy here I've got my A3 paper and then uh, my deli paper and on top of that I just keep my jelly plates I have a couple of them I think they're hiding up the back uh, and some clear acetate this little shelf has been brilliant I have been keeping layouts that need sorting on here um, so it's just a pantry storage shelf from Ikea and I just put layouts that I might have filmed a video on um, so these ones are from a I think it was a seven page process video on patreon that I did um, about family history and um, these are some childhood layouts that need um, storing of my favorite songs and then down here I've just got some loose page protectors in a random lid over here I have uh, heaps of page protectors I store my spare ones in old albums it just keeps them all nice together and then I've got a few new boxes that I haven't opened yet like I said that's class kit stuff and then two of these are empty so these are from Ikea but I don't think you can get this design anymore I went looking to see if I could buy more and I couldn't find them so I, th I think they've discontinued them I did buy them a couple of years ago um, but I can have so many containers that I'm sure there'd be other white ones there this one just contains oh it's a heavy one uh, paper so this is all different types of A4 printer paper and then that one just has like folders and other stationary things in on there. top here I just have a a whole lot of stuff that is in big boxes uh, so these are my old my parents gave me my old school books and so I want to go through those and maybe scan some things and make a Adele childhood album of sorts I've got a laser printer that's our spaceship router thing uh, and then I've got some class kit um, stuff stored in here and over to the other side so this is a 2 by 4 and I should add I do have two small kiddos but they don't have access to this room it's locked it's got a baby gate uh, so there's no worry of them getting into all of the bits and pieces which is a help and climbing the shelves up the top here so this is just another two by four from ikea and up the top i have all of my art books i freaking love art books it's something that i've been collecting for a long long time if i have a birthday i often get one from my family uh, or aaron buys one for me and when I have a birthday I often if I ever get any um, birthday money I usually spend it on an art book so there's lots of inspiration up there and it's nice because they're close by but um, so I can see them and I can access them if I, if I want but they're up nice and high I don't want to store things that I'd be hopping up to get all of the time up there 
in here I have my Happy Mail binders. So these are some binders that I made to save all of your beautiful Happy Mail. This is not going to work one-handed, but I have saved them all. <laughs> They're all in there. Um, so I have different ones for different countries. There's another one here, and then this big chunky one. Um, I think this is the US, um, but I need to do a front cover for it. So I keep all of my Happy Mail up there. This one is a container just of empty uh, journals, which I kind of need to go through and maybe set some projects for. I've got miscellaneous sequins and brushes, and then my fabric is in here. I was, you might recognize some of these patterns if you've followed me on Instagram for a while, but I uh, documented the 100 day project a couple of years ago, and I used these as backgrounds when I was photographing my traveler's notebook. So then we move down here, and I might pop you on the tripod now. All right, this might make it a bit easier uh, to look at everything. So in this little cabinet, so this is from Ikea as well. I think they still sell them. I probably bought this about five or six years ago, and this keeps some of my finished art journals. I just, I put them in here spine out just because I think it, it looks a little bit um, prettier. So I've got all of my journals and bits and pieces in there and I often um, use those for inspiration if I'm feeling a bit blah and need a bit of a, a lift in mojo. This is a mystery box. I don't know what's in there. I think that's a random box of miscellaneous supplies so I just popped this painting that I did in 08 I think it was yep 08 uh, so I just pop that over the <laughs> over the front and then over here I have these containers are also from Ikea if I can think of the name I'll pop it up here um, these are so handy I've just written on them with a permanent marker and they have what they have in them <laughs> um, so I've got paper bags my favourite one is the bottom one, which I probably get the most use out of, which is tissue and vellum, and it's just filled with all of the tissuey, vellumy goodness. I'm not even going to do attempt to put that on the bottom. Now that can just they could just stay there. Uh, and then in this far one, I also have finished journals in there as well. Over here, I've got stamps and these are just stored in some cheap containers from um, my local $2 shop. They need reorganizing. I, I have a video over on um, here on my Inky Quill channel and talking about how I store my stamps. I use the Avery L uh, plastic pockets, which have been really helpful, but they've I've since got several new stamps that need sorting and labeling and it's just a job that I haven't done yet. <laughs> um, so that's on my to-do list for the next craft room setup. This is a box that has some goodies that I have put aside to film Patreon videos with. There's certain um, products and um, techniques that I want to do so I've put them in there. This is a shelf that I use a lot. I've got my Prismacolors in here and then some magazines that I have been using for collage. And I've just been keeping them in a magazine file holder from Ikea. These little plus, uh, metal tins are also from Ikea, as are these cardboard boxes. Lots of Ikea things. It's a dangerous, dangerous place to go if you're setting up a craft room. <laughs> these are all my current journals. Just a couple. So I've got the A4 Dilutions Journal, the 8x8 Dilutions Journal, a junk journal that I made. I've got my My Life, I'm um, sorry, My Story mini album um, that I've been doing process videos on Patreon about that. I've got just a notebook that I've been doing class notes in, uh, Jane Davenport journal, the Dilutions A5, I think the size is maybe, maybe smaller, uh, which is my Use It Up journal. I've got my travel journal, my traveler's notebook journal, and then a couple of notebooks that I'm making different types of notes in. Uh, so lots of journals on the go at the moment. And then if we go down here, there we go. These two are empty, um, which is, I think I was talking about it at the start of this video, was I? Or was I imagining it? But I was, my aim was to set up the rest of my craft room this month, but alas, we found out we were moving. So there are a few empty spaces that 
we're going to have things but don't and then over here these are empty journals that I've still got to fill and then um, video ideas go in there these containers all down the bottom have mixed media supplies that I don't use as much anymore and honestly I need to go through and probably chuck out half of it uh, I'm in Australia obviously with my accent and a lot of the supplies have probably dried up we've had a hot hot summer um, we had some like over 40 degree days and so a lot of my paint supplies dry up over summer so I have to re-buy them each year um, so I need to go through some of those in the corner here I have a four drawer filing cabinet which is not getting the love that it deserves I think the top two drawers are organized but I don't use them um, as much they've got a lot of craft foam laminating supplies notebooks um, what do we have Oh, when I was on design teams, I'd put my current kits in here, which is really handy to keep them together. Photo paper, sticker paper, it needs some more love and some more um, attention paid to it. So, new house, I'm hoping to use this filing cabinet a bit more. I think the that next drawer might have the same kind of thing, and then the, the bottom two are just those mystery places in our craft room where we just shove everything that we don't want to deal with right now. <laughs> we, all, we all have a secret little spot, and... Those two are mine. Uh, this is a portable aircon that's just hanging out here because, like I said, we're in the middle of summer and it is hot, hot, hot. Over here we've got rascogs. Uh, so rascogs that also are not getting as much love as they used to. I have been doing some couch scrapping lately and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but I did have my ephemera packs in this IKEA. I think it's Vararia or it starts with a V. Uh, and I had them sorted by manufacturer and I just had these bits of craft foam dividing them which was really working well until I went away to a retreat and I took out all the ones that I wanted and I haven't put them back um, this is loose ephemera that I need to use up and then down here we've got let's see if we can sneak in there I've got some tiny word stickers uh, some six by six paper pads and extra stationary things and then down the bottom is just more ephemera that I need to use this one I probably do get, um, it gets the most use. These little containers, I get asked about them all of the time. They're from Ikea. Oh, this one might have the name on it. Mm, I don't know what it's called, but the number is 103.351.11. So if you're looking for them, I usually find them in the kitchen section. Um, so I just have a few of those with some of my printables. Let's focus. Some of my printables in them, some DIY embellishments that I've made and random bits and bobs. These pencil cases I absolutely love. I had a heap left over from uh, when I was a teacher and so I keep things like doilies in here. Uh, there's another one that has tags, there's another one that has DIY embellishments and they're just really handy. You could also store um, kits if you get a monthly kit subscription and something like that. This is also from Ikea. It is a drawer organizer so that'll be in the bedroom section I think. Down here I have um, a pouch of pouches which should probably be in a cupboard it doesn't need space out here. That green container has extra photos. This is my brilliant tax keeping um, system. I put receipts in here and then deal with them at the end of the month or this is more than one month. This is before violet I haven't sorted this for three months uh, and then I have one of my inky pouches and I've just got spare um, photos in there and then down the bottom is wood veneer so this has been my couch scrapping rascog and I've been using the bejesus out of it it's been so helpful and it's just really nice that I can drag it next to the desk, the desk when I'm filming and I can drag it out to the couch when I want to couch scrap um, I have one of these cardboard organizers from Ikea again I promise not sponsored by Ikea by golly I wish it was but it's really not <laughs> and it's really handy to to sort supplies in I have two of them I have one on my desk as well which um, I need to use more actually it's not on my desk where is it it has disappeared but they're very handy um, and I think it was only about $15 as well so I've just got tiny word stickers and then all of my stickers that I usually use sticker books there's some alphas in the back here some paper pads um, all sorts of bits and pieces and my paper trimmer is there as well down here I've got my PL cards and labels 
and then on the bottom I have some little of those little containers again with ephemera, uh, some roll stamps and adhesive and then they're all tiny alphas from Ellie's studio and then in the back there this is um, a pouch that is filled I don't know if I can open this one-handed let's see oh yep yeah, there we go um, so this has all of my ephemera in it which ephemera is something that I'm still swamped by and don't know how to store properly um, I'm not going to attempt to close that right now uh, so if you've got any tips for how you store ephemera I'd love to know because I'm drowning I'm drowning at the moment all right so now we'll go over to the desk uh, so this is where I film this is my filming setup so I bought these studio lights from eBay oh probably about four years ago now I think it was about $80 at the time but they're probably twice that now because prices have jumped on um, lighting and filming things on eBay I don't have the link anymore um, but if you search on there you can find something similar and then for my tripod I actually use it's not going to really pick it up because of the lights there we go I use a microphone stand with a clamp and a mini tripod um, shoved up at the top and I use a Canon G7X Mark II to film my videos so that's where the magic happens then let's go over to my desktop so over here I have my much needed um, I refill this this is what I use to I don't drink bottled water I buy one and refill it 50,000 times before I get knocked for having bottled water on my desk um, this is my little caddy that I got from Audi I think it's actually meant to be a kitchen caddy but I keep my scissors and glue in one or my pens in another paint brushes in another and then there's a larger section which I keep tape in then over here this was a leftover box from a gift uh, and I just keep all of my Posca paint pens in there I've always got paint brushes with water usually some project that I've filmed and popped over here these were some uh, DIY journaling cards that I just filmed for Patreon and I've got some photos that I want to do a let's get inky video on very soon I use my Heidi Swap messy mat which badly needs a bit of a clean uh, and I I do have a setup video um, all about my desk but uh, they're different desk sections from Ikea and drawers and table legs and uh, um, Alex drawers and I've kind of Frankenstein them all together which has been really handy because I can kind of switch it to suit the room that I was in let's go into this drawer first I really hope that this isn't too long and I'm not making you dizzy uh, this is kind of my catch-all drawer and if I can think of the name of these drawers I will let you know that too I have just some random bits and pieces there's some DIY embellishments wood veneer selfie ink some photos that I want to scrap wipes all sorts of bits and pieces now, I don't know the best way to go should I go down first hmm I might go down on this hook I keep a bag for um, my recycling and then I usually have a garbage bag on there as well so in this top drawer I have uh, roller stamps and I did have a video I do have a video over on here on Inky Quill about how I number my roller stamps and I use a, a system so I'll, I'll link that down below um, and I also keep my distress inks up here as well so this is just an old box I think it was it an iPhone box no some box from packaging and then this was a cheap desk organizer that I had in this drawer I keep all of my washi and I color sort it into different groups except for the front I usually put the, my favorites at the moment um, so I've got pinks blues blacks and then there's more um, further back there I also keep some washies wrapped on a plastic ruler that I take with me if I'm going scrapping somewhere and I don't want to take a million rolls this drawer has PL cards it needs more things in it and the bottom two just have adhesive in them so that's that one and then under my desk I also have a, a crate that I usually put new things that I want to film a haul video about um, so that's what goes in there and then up here in between these two drawers is a little set of drawers and this is where I keep my scraps 
So I have, um, the drawers are a little close. I just need to push them over, but they're a bit heavy to do one-handed. Um, but I have neutral, like blacks, whites, creams, um, wood brown, wood grain goes in there. This one has pink and red, and then this one has blue scraps, and then this one is green, yellow, orange, and multicolored. That's been really handy to have right under my desk because if I'm filming and I just need a little piece, I can just bob down and grab something out of here. I try to keep my most used supplies at arm's reach, like this drawer of goodies, um, so that I'm more likely to put them away. Uh, so this is my main mixed media drawer. I've got my Dilutions paints stored in these Ranger pencil cases. And I have warm colours in one, cool colours in another. Down the front here I've got my big tub. So one of them is texture paste and one of them is matte gel medium. So I just keep those there because they're very bulky. Uh, I have other paints here, Heidi Shine. Uh, my ink, my black ink pads are here, which is probably not the best place to store them, but it's where they are right now. <laughs> um, I have, these are all my background stamps. And I'm a big fan of containers within containers. I just think it's it helps to really corral your bits and pieces and you don't need fancy containers you don't need them all the same color um, you've seen a lot here I use packaging I use cheap things from Ikea I use things from two dollar shops like both of these are um, so there's there's lots of different things that you can use um, you don't have to have everything matchy and perfect if you want to that's great too um, but you don't have to so use what you've got use what you can use what you can afford um, so they're all background stamps and then at the back here I have a container of acrylic inks, sorry about the focus there, um, some small travel gessos and sponges and some watercolours up the back. These drawers are very, very heavy. <laughs> um, in this little, this is kind of an awkward little nook. Uh, so in here I just keep my, I've got my pin pouch which has all of my pins on it which I love very much um, and then this is my folder that I keep my stencils in so I use that quite a lot and then I've got my big bottles of gesso that I also reach for a lot then over here this is my other mixed media drawer that I do use I use very frequently um, it looks like a mess but everything is in separate containers so I've got my warm cheap acrylic paints I use these all of the time most of them cost you know two dollars five dollars two dollars fifty um, and I love to use those for jelly plate printing I've got my cool colors and then I've got some tins here these are an old uh, I think they were a Kmart um, tea light candle holder and I had them lying around left over from our wedding so I use those I use the white tins from Ikea that are so handy and then I've also just grabbed some random buckets from cheap shops so these have pens I've got a, a teacup I think that's a, a mug back there with my brayers in it um, distress oxides and gouache and watercolor pencils and then there's punches in a tub at the back I don't have many punches so I don't need massive storage for them Oh, hello, Mr. Paper Towel. I was looking for you the other day and I couldn't find you. So that's good to know that you're there now. <laughs> uh, and then in the final drawer, this is a lot of my art journaling supplies. So I try to keep like with like. I just find it easier when I'm making things. And then I also keep things that I use the most often um, in... Basically, I only have to step maybe one or two steps to get to them from when I'm filming. It just It's a bit hard to... Um, be filming and having to pause all the time to go searching my room for, for stuff. So these are all painted papers um, that I use in collage and then and these tubs are from Kmart. Up the back here I have, um, this is more, whoops, sorry about the focus, uh, this is all book pages and kind of like neutral papers back there. These are the same containers as those ones before. And this one has alphas, yep, it has um, alphas that have died that no longer suit me in scrapbooking because I'm out of vowels and they need to go into an art journal project instead. I've got magazines that I need to chop up um, and a book that I tear pages out of for projects. And then in these Alex drawers, I'm going to be honest with you, they're not getting used as much as they could. 
Uh, this was one of my plans to reorganize these in this top one. I, I do use this one a lot. So this has my different white cardstock in plastic page protectors. So I've got normal printer cardstock, textured paper, I've got basil marshmallow cardstock offcuts, I've got watercolor backgrounds if I make mixed media backgrounds and change my idea of using them. So I do use that one a lot. I think I'll transfer that to the other drawers though because I need it closer. This next one has cards that I have to sort and make a mini album for. I've got my, I kind of call it my good paint, maybe not that one, but those are my good paints that I use on canvas painting. And then uh, a couple of random books that I use for junk journaling and uh, cameo supplies are in there. So that's a look at the drawers and now we'll go onto the tabletop. So I showed you that side and now I'll pan over here and there's some things that are working well and some things that are not working so well. Uh, these are my most used thickers and alphabet words and things and I've been keeping them on my desk instead of with the rest of my thickers and uh, it's, it's handy to have them close by but I'm wondering if my other thickers can be hidden away somewhere more often and I just change this out and kind of have a feature thicker container where I try and use those ones up first. This is a bit of a hodgepodge and like I said I'm about to pack um, tonight so I didn't bother reorganising this for the sake of reorganising it. Um, I'll wait until I'm at the, the new house and figure out what I need. Um, but this is just a brochure container from Officeworks and super handy. I did have my embellishments all in there but I changed it when I got the IKEA uh, cardboard ones. These are my webcams for when I did my live stream. I haven't popped them away yet. I've got two tubs here of uh, stickers, embellishments that I haven't touched for a little while, so I need to go through those. And then a little container of um, enamel dots at the front. On my bookcase over here, I kind of just have a lot of knickknacks. And at the new house, I'm not going to be able to fit this bookcase. So I think I might have to do a bit of shuffling and figure out where these knickknacks are going to go. I do have tags. Um, and if you're an old school inklet, my bowl of Neil, it's still here, still kicking. I don't reach for it as often. Um, they're my little resin flowers. And then this is a beautiful mug that a subscriber sent me um, that I love looking at every time I'm crafting. There's a few little bunny containers with flowers and my power board's there, so I keep my heat, very messy heat gun. Boy, I didn't realize how painty that was. Um, so that's there. And then this box has been really handy. It's just an old um, kit box. And I've been keeping my current paper pads that I'm loving and then my current papers that I'm trying to use up in here. So I just drag this over whenever I'm filming a video instead of having to rifle through my um, papers on my shelf. And then this section of my desk um, does get used quite a lot, but it's really handy to have as extra storage so that I, it frees up my actual filming space. This is a little wooden container that I stole from um, my son, my two-year-old. He got some toy cars and street signs and they came in this um, little wooden box. And so he got the toys and I got the box because he doesn't care about the box. He didn't want it. Uh, so I just have been keeping my favourite current washi tapes in here. Some twine and then my wood veneer I sorted into um, little hearts, words and then larger icons. This is just a tub from a cheap shop and in there I've been keeping my en masse journal um, which I have videos on on my Let's Get Inky channel and on Patreon. Uh, I've been collecting things for a daycare album for Arch and then um, my monthly printables that I design I just keep um, in here as well. So they're there. Then these containers have been having grab five things in them so things that I want to include in like upcoming grab five videos instead of using them I'll I'll pop them here so that when I want to film one um, it's nice and handy to have them close I this just reappeared I think maybe Aaron found it and popped it on my desk I'm not quite sure where it came from I think it came from maybe he unpacked an old box and this was in it randomly but it just appeared one day so this is my six by twelve a uh, six by six sorry paper pads that I haven't seen for two years since we moved into this house. Um, so that's nice. That's looking good there, six by six paper pads. Sorry, I'm going to have to pack you and probably maybe lose you again 
in the next move. Uh, and then I have all of my brush pens here. These are the Stadler brush markers, and then I've got the Stadler fiber tipped markers, and I love those. Um, I've just got some random pens. I've got Tombows, Artline sticks, and some more Stadler brush pens at the back there. Got my good old Cameo, which does not get used as often as it should. Um, and then underneath my desk, I should add, there's a few different things. So these are currently filming some album flip throughs. Um, so I've just been storing the albums here while I've been doing that. That's a bag of uh, art supplies that I had taken somewhere and haven't unpacked yet. Real life peeps. I've got my spare microphone stand and some foam board to take photos on there. Um, Aaron and I love doing water, Warhammer 40k uh, with our friend Ben. So that's all of our Warhammer stuff, which is um, mini like figurine painting and creating, if you don't know what Warhammer is. Uh, I've got my big, what do you call that? Tote? Tote bag? Tote trolley thing? Uh, it's the, is it the Recollections one? I don't know what brand it is, but I got it from Spotlight and in my opinion, it's it's very pricey. I only bought it because it was on sale. I think it was still $90 on sale, but usually it's 130 or something and my zip is broken, so I'm not not a huge fan of it, but it works. Uh, and then I have, like I said, that crate. Um, I put haul items in and then this is a board that you can stand on. It kind of moves, um, which is handy because I, I stand when I create. And so I need something to help with my um, back pain and it was a godsend when I was pregnant as well. I should add, I also have this standing desk, which is usually out um, in our lounge room, but it came in here for something. I think I was working on my com oh, I think Aaron was working at the same time as I was. And so we had two desks um, and this just has my current 2019 albums that I'm working through uh, in there. And all of the post-it notes are for one of them was for couch scrapping videos that I, um, layouts that I filmed a flip through for and, um, scrappy girly getaway that I filmed, um, a flip through for over on Patreon. So that's my craft room peeps. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's, look, it's still a work in progress and unfortunately it's a work in progress that is about to get packed up and reworked, <laughs> um, but it's my happy pace, uh, my happy place not I was going to say space and place and I ended up just saying pace it's my happy pace peeps so I hope you enjoyed that craft room tour uh, I I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the start of the video like I said baby brain is just going strong uh, I will be filming a taking apart the craft room and setting up my new craft room video where I go through the placement of everything why I'm choosing to get rid of things why I'm choosing to put things in certain places um, and just kind of go a bit more real time in setting up my craft room um, for Patreon. So that will be up in at some, I, it might already be up by now actually, because I think this video is going up later. Uh, but if you're interested in extra content, I know I've talked about a lot um, throughout the video and I hate, I really hate spruiking myself and talking about it. But if you want more inkiness, the link is down below um, if you want to check out my Patreon and I have a second channel, Let's Get Inky, if you're into art channeling and love process videos, um, the link will be in the description for that too. So I better wrap this video up before my beautiful two-year-old loud boy and my three-month-old girl come home uh, and things get noisy. So wish me luck for packing. I'm not looking forward to it, but I've got to get it done. All right, peeps, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy craft room tours, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!